Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a basic inverter. As you can see here, this is the circuit. This is a very crude inverter. So I have made this inverter for testing and learning purposes. So as you can see here, the inverter consists of a DC supply. Actually, I am using a using AC to DC converter here because I am using a variac. That's why I need an AC to DC converter here. So this part is converting the AC input from the variac. So whatever AC I am feeding, this part will convert into DC. As you can see, this is the bridge rectifier, and here is the filter capacitor. So the output DC is fed to this transformer using this switching device. So this is a ferrite coat transformer, as you can see here. This is a toroidal transformer, ferrite coat toroidal transformer. This is the toroidal transformer. Okay. So here is the switching device. The switching device will be switched based on the oscillator. So this is the oscillator. So this oscillator is based on a triple five timer IC, and it is designed to generate a frequency of forty eight kilohertz. So you can see here the close view of this oscillator. So below you can see. The triple five timer IC is resting. So here are the stable multivibrator resistances and all. So here this is the MOSFET. So this MOSFET is basically driving this transformer. This small ring coat transformer it is driving, and the out secondary of this transformer is finally driving the IGBT. You can see here the IGBT is just below. So this is the heat sink, heat absorption device, heat sink, aluminium heat sink, and below you can see. There is the, you can see there is the IGBT. So, the IGBT is fed with IGBT gate is fed IGBT base. I mean actually IGBT doesn't have a gate. Its base is fed with the output of this oscillator via this coupling transformer. So I am not connecting this trans this oscillator directly here because I want to isolate this high HV circuit with from this oscillator. So that's why I am using this coupling device, coupling transformer. So this is basically a one is to one coupling transformer. So so that if there is any issue with this IGBT, it should not affect my oscillator. That's why I am using an isolation device here. So as you can see here, this is how my inverter looks like. So this inverter is basically designed to generate a frequency of forty eight kilohertz, two twenty volts at the output. So I am not Getting fifty hertz, I am going to get forty eight kilohertz at the output. So as you can see, this is how my inverter looks like. This is the basic form of an inverter. So let us, so let us switch on the inverter. Let us switch on the inverter. So as you can see here, I have switched on the inverter. Here it is the sixty watt lamp. The lamp is glowing. And you can see here, this is 223 volts AC, and the frequency is. You can see the frequency is 49 kilohertz, and the duty cycle is 63 percent. You can see 224 volts AC. This is the voltage across the lamp, and here you can see this is the IGBT current. This is the IGBT current. 2.14 amps is the IGBT current. And the supply voltage is 50 volts. Let us see the supply voltage. Let us measure the supply voltage. So as you can see here, the supply voltage is 45 volts DC. So this is the supply voltage to this inverter, 45 volts DC. You can see 45 volts DC. So the current at the so the current at the IGBT is 2.14 ampere. And here you can see 220 volts AC is the voltage. So this is how my inverter is working. So this is the very crude basic form of an inverter. So in the subsequent videos, I am going to improvise this inverter. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.